hello good morning so today is the first uh, video for raising awareness about cutaneous t-cell lymphoma the lymphoma that i was diagnosed with 10 years ago and ended up by the stem cell transplantation in october 2015. so the journey started uh, by the diagnosis in qatar where i was living at that time and um, when the doctor saw me and he said uh, we are suspicious about your rash it was the, the only thing that i was uh, complaining about at that time was a skin rash and uh, um, he said in order to be able to diagnose you we we will need to have uh, a deep skin biopsy and uh, we need to take photos of your rash we need to have uh, more blood tests from you and we might need a bone marrow um, sample uh, when he said that and he mentioned the bone marrow sample i was like mm, it sounds serious then i didn't know that uh, what i am dealing with is uh, uh, a type of cancer Cutaneous T-cell lymphoma is a type of white blood cells disorder that uh, can, you, people can live with it for a very long time without a clear diagnosis. It looks like you're having an eczema or a, um, a skin rash, like an allergic reaction, uh, but it is hidden under the skin. So it will never show, show uh, to the doctors uh, unless they do a biopsy. Uh, the first thing then, uh, whenever you feel like there is a rash on your skin and uh, it's not responding to steroids or uh, to the, the medicines that the, your, your dermatologist uh, is prescribing, please suggest that uh, they take from you a skin uh, biopsy. So when I was diagnosed, uh, this day it never goes from our my memory and uh, any other patient memory the day of the diagnosis with such a disease uh, i was alone at the clinic and uh, i felt uh, confused um, i didn't know where to go but uh, at that time there was uh, the only thing that i was thinking about is that uh, I know that God is there and I know that uh, I believed for so long uh, and uh, I know that this is my test now. It's my turn to have my test, the true test in life and whether I will be able to apply, to practice and uh, uh, to succeed in this test or no. This was the major thing for me until now this is the major question that is running inside my mind whether i will be succeed or no um, the first thing i did was uh, googling the cutaneous t-cell lymphoma the findings was really terrifying uh, the second thing that i did was to find others who are dealing with the same disease and as it is very rare it's rare to the extent that uh, four or six people out of a million who are affected by cutaneous t-cell lymphoma so i found this facebook uh, page and uh, uh, it was for people who are diagnosed with the similar disease uh, i started to contact them to know more about the disease what are they passing through i tried to calm myself a little bit and uh, I, I had uh, this um, logo inside my, myself <laughs> is fake it till you make it percent. So I was faking that I am okay till I feel that I am okay. So this is what uh, I was doing. Um, that the coming video, I will speak more about the treatments and uh, how did I, I go through uh, the rest of the journey. Enjoy your day and wait for me.